Week two, Jacksonville State Volleyball as they get ready for the start of the 2018 season. Coach Garvey, uh, we visited last week. I think you were still trying to learn everybody, you know, no name tags or anything. But in one week's time, has this bunch improved and come come the distance that you wanted them to? We really have. I think they've been working extremely hard, and that's the main thing we're talking about is trying to handle all the stuff that they can control, which is work ethic and being on time, being a good teammate, trying to take care of all those little things. And I think they've been doing a really good job of that. We've made a lot of strides over the past week. Uh, we still have a long way to go, though. Your system and, and your terminology, are, are they getting a grasp of it now after one week? They are. I've been super impressed on how quick they've learned everything. We have we actually call stuff different than the staff before, and that's normal. Lots of places call different playsets different things, and they've done a really good job of learning the new terminology and learning the defense and offensive systems and really getting a grasp, grasp of it. Well, I guess what you expect from them effort-wise and when they're out here, whatever, they've got a better knowledge of that too. Don't they? they do. I think that we've been holding them to a really high standards and pushing them really hard, and I think that they've bought into it because they know that off the court that we care about them and we're pushing them because we want to get the best out of them, and I think that that's important. I think as long as they know that you have their back and that you're there for them, then they're going to allow you to push them. And I think that that's one thing me and Justin and Jacob have really done is, is taking it to another level on trying to be tough on them and get get them to perform at their best every single play. And you'll get a chance to see them under the light, so to speak, uh, exhibition match at UAB. We do. It's going to be a great test for us. With us not having a spring with the team is really important to find an exhibition game. And us going to UAB tomorrow will really be able to tell us kind of what's working, what's not working. Um, that way we'll have a week to kind of fine-tune things before the opening weekend tournament. Now, do you treat it just like a, a regular season match or where you do some different things uh, since it is an exhibition? Once the whistle blows, we're going to definitely try to win every point we can win, but we're going to try some things and experiment with the lineup and different rotations and stuff that we wouldn't typically do once we get to regular season. So it's more of a laid-back thing, um, but we definitely want to try to get better every set. For you and the staff, it's just going to take some time as far as the rotation and learning which what rotation is going to work and people work together, right? Yeah, it has. We've, I think, found out a lot this first week on what kind of works and what doesn't, but we're still going to keep trying to experiment, and we're hoping that by the time conference season rolls around, we'll kind of have a really good idea on what lineups we're going to use and who we're going to put in certain situations. I think that's the goal is try to get it ready by conference season. Classes will start next week, so I guess you're basically into the normal routine, I guess, from that point for the rest of the season, aren't you? It is. So we just have a couple more days of two-a-days, and then we'll get into regular practices next week. I think one of the things just from coaching in past years, I think the biggest challenge for us is the girls have been great at bringing the energy and effort um, once classes haven't started. But next week's going to be the challenge. I know once classes start, it's still hard to bring your effort and energy every day. So we're looking to see if they can continue to do that. Now, you've got the tournament coming up, open the season right here at uh, Kenmer Hall in the, in the gymnasium here. Um, the opponents there, you have Mercer, UNA, Arkansas, Little Rock, Lamar. Do you know anything about any of these as you look ahead to the start of this? So we've been looking ahead a little bit, um, kind of seeing what they had last year and who's coming back. Uh, it's always tough to scout opening weekend just because every team has so many new players and some, some have new coaches even. So it's hard to get a lot of scouting in. So I think this first weekend we're definitely going to spend some time scouting, but it's going to be more about us. I think it's going to be how we play. Can we limit our unforced errors? Can we... Um, score in certain rotations. I think more winning or losing is going to depend on us this upcoming weekend. And then as we get into conference and later on in the year, we'll definitely scout more and more. It's always, I guess, like that where you, you know, you're worried more about yourself than the opponent. But since you're new and they don't know you and everything, is it does that magnify it even a little bit more, especially the first few weeks of the season? It does. I think that uh, especially for the teams that are trying to scout us, uh, the, we have such a young, young roster and new players playing that I think we have two players that are going to be playing that, that got some significant time last season. So it's going to be really hard for them to scout us. But I think that us continuing to work with them every day, we, we're starting to figure out what we can do as coaches and as a team. Right. Thanks, sir. Good luck. Right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Our ladies will play at UAB and then open up the season the following week here on Friday the 24th. They'll be taking on North Alabama here at 2 o'clock at Kenmer Hall.